sent her a link. Hmm? Yes. Rosebel Kagumire is a social media blogger. She uses her platform to defend women's rights. But Kagumire is concerned that the new regulation and the payment she would have to make could curtail her freedom of expression. When someone attacks your very right to live a dignified life and earn a living and be able to wake up every morning and function, I think we cannot take this kind of moves, directives lightly. But the Uganda Communications Commission, a government body with the mandate to regulate the media, says it wants to raise domestic revenue. If somebody goes in the space of gathering information, this information could be paid for, it could be sponsored, it could be carrying advertising, it could be for subscription, and this information is for simultaneous reception by the public. Now you have entered into the business of broadcasting. You need to be known by the regulator. You need to know your obligations. You need to know the standards. You need to know the rules of the game. The new regulation begins on the 5th of October. Critics argue that the regulation will actually result in double taxation for internet users because people already pay taxes on data usage. The regulation comes into force ahead of next year's presidential poll. Now that we're in a political season, I, we can also see people who are flocking to us wanting authorization because they want to cash in on the virtual campaigns so that they can be able to push content for politicians, which is fantastic. And we're saying this can actually be done successfully but well regulated. The changes are part of sweeping internet regulations introduced by the government in 2018, including a social media tax. Online experts are concerned that the new law could be used to stifle freedoms of expression. I don't think so that they are looking for money, no. That's out. What I think, they are looking for those few social media influencers who trade in forest hoods. Uganda has one of the lowest internet penetration at 14%. And for now, social media bloggers like Kagumire will keep pushing for increased usage of the internet space.